that is part three. Part four then is a bit that has changed quite a lot this year. So that's the STEM project proposal. Uh, so in a bit more detail, what that involves is a proposal of a current or future project. And what we expect that to look like is one side of A3, uh, font size no bigger than or no smaller than 10, sorry. Um, it would be a digital submission, but that doesn't mean that if you uh, prefer to draw things by hand or that's how your idea process works, that's absolutely fine. But they would have to then be submitted in a digital format. Um, the best way to do this, we found, uh, is to sub is to set up your document in A3. So PowerPoint or Word will have that in the page setup tab. Um, so make sure you're working in A3 from the start because it's a bit more space than you think it sounds like. Uh, we've uh, spoiled the next slide. We've mocked up some from previous proposals, previous projects, um, and there's space for a lot more than you would think on one side of A3. So make sure you're working in that from the beginning. Uh, we've sort of used PowerPoint and Word as examples, but you can use another design software if that is what works best for you. Uh, we just need to make sure it can be submitted. Um, and what this is, is an idea for a project that you will be working on. Uh, so at the point of application, so the deadline's in December, you don't need to have been finished. Uh, you don't need to be huge way through it. You just need to be thinking about an idea and how you're going to do it. However, you do need to have enough progress or to have finished the project by the time if you get to interview that you can talk about the progress you've made, any challenges you've had, your next steps and how you worked through that engineering process. Because that's what we're really wanting to see is how you work through that ideation um, and challenges and the engineering cycle that uh, if you watched last week's webinar, Chris talked about quite a lot, but seeing how those failures feed in to your next iteration of design. Um, so what we've done is we've uh, taken some projects that were submitted last year um, and we've taken those student works and sort of put them into the format of a project proposal. Um, so we're going to show you a few of those examples now and I'm going to hand over to Hayley uh, to sort of talk you through what make these really excellent um, designs. Thank you, Rachel. So yeah, I'm Hayley, I'm the Scholarships Outreach Coordinator, and we have rever reserve reversed engineered this project proposal from one of the projects submitted by Kieran. So what we look for when we're marking these project proposals are three key areas. So we're looking for creativity, so how unique your problem is and your solutions that you come up with. Um, the communication as well, so how you're presenting those ideas. Is it easy to follow your thought process? And we're also looking at the technical knowledge as well. So we're looking for what component software, um, maybe techniques that you'll use to make your project come to fruition by that interview. So Kieran's done a really great job here um, at looking at the problem and doing his research and um, think focusing on specific users as well. His creativity really comes through. So you can see that he's looked into um, the different components, the software, so that technical knowledge is really quite high as well. Um, the Creativity would be scored really quite highly, but it could be improved by looking at a problem that's a bit more unique or something that hasn't been looked into before. So this is a CAD controller, so there's existing products on the market. So maybe something that's a bit more unique that would be um, something that not a lot of engineers have looked into. Um, but the communication is absolutely excellent. It's exemplary with this example as well. You can really see the thought process clearly defined through that design brief, the criteria which you can refer back to later um, when you're evaluating your pro progress in your project um, and it really sets up this project up for a really nice um, talking point at interview as well. Um, so I'm going to show you another project proposal from a second um, scholar. So this is Marie's um, project proposal and you can see the difference in the communication style. So again, uh, as Rachel mentioned, you can take pictures, uh, scans of any sort of mind mapping you do, any um, ways that you might start that engineering process. So this is a re really realistic way that engineers would uh, start those ideas. You can see the clear, it's very, the communication is very clear again. And what uh, we really look for on this one as well is that those potential challenges so that technical knowledge is really explored and the potential challenges when it's coming to manufacturing, when it's coming to um, CAD 
uh, designs, when it's coming to 3D printing, whatever you choose to do, um, spotting those potential challenges and how they can, you can might tackle them and come up with strategies to overcome them. That makes the technical knowledge in this example really strong. Um, and on the next example, from our third example, we've got Williams um, sequence memory toy here. The communication is really excellent and exemplary on this one with those design sketches showing your initial ideas, which then you might take forward and develop further going through that engineering cycle, though, um, coming up with um, different features, thinking about materials and things like that. Um, this one focuses very much on research and the rationale behind those initial ideas. So an improvement would be focusing the, on the technical knowledge a little bit more. So thinking about the components, the software, the resources that you that um, William might have used to get to the final project. Um, it's really, as you can see from all three, important to show your next steps as well. So what are you going to try and um, um, do throughout your project to achieve um, what you want to achieve at the end and evaluation and reflection throughout is a really key skill we look out for as well. So that's just a summary of a few project proposals um, that might help you with your applications.